that we've applied the back and we're going to go ahead and continue to implode and at the same time be working the back down until these two uh, are, are fused together nicely and then uh, we'll lay on the dots for the base head on the back and then cap the back. Alright, we started the base head on the back side, two rows of three uh, using the transparent red and then uh, the center three I put dots of purple, big nice big dots of the purple and then I'm going to layer another dot of red on top of the purple work those all down and then pull a point. Maybe pull points along the side too. We'll see how it goes. So far so good though. This marble's taking shape quite nicely. Alright, we got the dots for the base head all worked in. We got a nice point pulled. You can really see that. going to work that down, work the point in, and uh, we continued the pull. Got a little divot there on the side, we'll work that all in, cap the back, and then uh, start shaping it. Alright, we got the base head all maria out, and it looks really nice. I like it. And uh, you just got to make sure you, you let the anemone side cool down to where when you flatten out the base head, you don't smash the artwork on the other side. This is going to turn out really nice. Now we're going to cap the artwork on the back and then draw a circle of clear around the edge of the base head. Melt it all in. Shape it up. Alright, we got the artwork capped. We drew a line around the edge there to encase the whole uh, base head. Now we're just going to work it all together, shape it up. It's going to be a pretty big marble. We might actually make it uh, up to an inch and a quarter. This will be a, a very large marble. But it is turning out very nice. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Alright, we're on the first punty and starting to do the rough shaping. Got a nice pull on the anemone side. The base head side looks really good. I'm happy with this. It is a huge marble. It is uh, right at an inch and a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. So we're going to have to cook it a little longer than an hour 15. We'll have to go like, I'll do it probably an hour and a half just because I like to overcook it. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish shaping it. It looks really good. I'm happy with it. Happy, happy, happy. Joy, joy, joy. All right, there's the finished product. I don't know how well you can see it, but the uh, implosion sea anemone side turned out very well, and so did the the base head side. All right, it is right at an inch and a quarter, so we're going to put it in the kiln. And let's see, we got a garage in here. we have user 4 set on. Three segments. Ramp it up to 1050. That's good. Hold it for an hour and a half. Good. Ramp it 200 degrees an hour down to 950. Hold it for an hour and a half. Ramp it down 200 degrees an hour to 250. Hold it for two minutes. And then turn it off and let it cool to room temperature. That turned out very, very nice. I look forward to taking pictures of it, posting it, Thank you for watching. Don't forget, you can always watch me do it live on the webcam, CD Marbles, C D M A R B L E Z dot com. Click on the webcam link and it should take you to a page where you can watch me do the entire thing instead of this abbreviated version. See you next time.